Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and another stamping video. In today's video, I am revealing my stamp set of the month for October. It is the Lawn Fawn stamp set. Let's go nuts. I love squirrels. There are a lot of them here in Idaho. And so I knew that this was gonna be a fun set to play with. I feel like it's a versatile set and it has sentiments and a matching die set. So it has all the requirements. So today we're gonna to be creating a slimline Z fold card. I did make one in a previous video and loved it so much I had to do it again. So that's what we're doing today and let's go ahead and get started. All right, I am starting out with some serious die cutting. I'm using the new Acorn House die set. It's adorable. And the Mushroom House die set. I decided to create a Halloween themed card with some softer colors inspired by some friends of mine in the Lawn Fawn Fans group. If you missed our Lawn Fawn Fans hop that was just the other day, I'm gonna link that for you below because there's some amazing cards in that video hop. All right, so I've stamped those out along with a bunch of candy using this Fox Costumes stamp set and this other cute Halloween set. And I'm going to use a bunch of other images from that Halloween set in, that I didn't realize I needed at this time. So here I'm showing you how I colored out my squirrel using E23 as my darkest color, E13 as my midtone, and then E11. I originally thought it was gonna be E00, but I just needed a little something darker. All right, so here I am coloring out all the candy and the wagon too. I did not end up using the scarf that I stamped. Um, it just didn't seem to fit with this card, so I will save that for later. So I'm using three different colors, a pink, a orange, and kind of a, um, teal color, a soft teal color. So I just wanted a mix of those three colors. I'm not really doing any ink blending when I color these, but you can see the markers that I'm using on the screen once I finish all my coloring. Um, and now I'm adding some white highlights to all of these things. And it did take me a little bit of time to color this, but what takes even longer? Die cutting. But it was done in a snap. Well, at least for you, so that you did not have to watch all of that. You can also see all the markers that I use to color in these images right there. Now, here are the pieces I'm using for my Z Fold card. The Z Fold panel itself is nine and a fourth by three and three fourths. I then scored it at four and three eighths and eight and three fourths. And you can see here how it folds together to stick together to create a Z fold. Um, you can go back and freeze that screen if you need to get those measurements. Now I am going to create a background. I'm using my pan pastels. I know, I've used them in the last three videos. I am just having so much fun with them. They're so fast to use and um, they were like the exact colors that I wanted. I originally was gonna use Distress Ink, but I only have them in ink cubes and I couldn't imagine using them to make such large panels. I needed to um, have a background on two slimline panels for this card. So in to the rescue was the pen pastels. So I'm gonna use pink across the top and the orange across the bottom, and I will go back and forth to get um, a smoother blend, just like I would if I was using Distress Ink, but it's just so fast to do and you need hardly any. I just take one swipe across that pastel and rub it onto my card and I only go back in to intensify the color if I want to. So now I'm going to die cut some hills with the wavy stitched slimline borders too and those will go across the bottom of both panels. And now guess what? I'm splattering my panels. <laughs> I have bubblegum and citrus cooler. So I have a pink and an orange. They will dry back lighter with a touch of shimmer. So it's fabulous. And I will do both of those. When those are dry, they're going to be set with a fixative spray. I'll bring that into the screen and show it to you so you can see which one I like to use. It is with a matte finish and it dries very quickly and then my past 
towels do not go anywhere. They don't smudge. All right, I'm adding a bit of double stick tape to the little tab that I'm going to use to adhere the two panels together. And here again, I'm showing you how to fold that so that it creates that Z fold and using my crease tool to make sure that those are folded really well. I added a little bit of liquid glue there just to ensure a really strong hold between these two panels. Next, I will add the hills that I cut from some oatmeal cookie cardstock and I just thought that was a good color. I didn't want to add in some green at this point, and this matches some of the die cuts for my little houses as well. And I'll trim off a little excess from this piece so that I don't have anything interfering with where the card folds in half right here. And then next, I'll just need to fold on my Z fold to ensure that the hill is folded in the right place and the mechanism, well, it's not really a mechanism, is it? But that it will fold nicely and unfold nicely. Next, I'm using this stump from the Forest Feast stamp set and some dough ink on that same oatmeal cookie cardstock for one more element for the scene for today's card. So I am stamping that out and doing it twice to get that dark, crisp image that I love. And thank you very much, Misty, for helping me do that. It's a life changer, that Misty, isn't it? Yeah. All right, so the stump gets glued on here, and then I'll add in my three little houses. I just love doing them in these fun colors. Pink and teal and then here comes the mushroom house which goes perfectly with these acorn houses i just knew i had to have the acorn house to go with my mushroom house so now what i'm gonna do is just lay everything out and figure out my scene where i want all the pieces to go when i'm doing this you'll see i have a pumpkin that i stamped out you um, see the little broom and the witch's hat these are all from those stamp sets that i showed you the um costume set and the the fox costume set and then the other trick-or-treat set from Lawn Fawn. I can't remember the name of it. I'm gonna post it on the screen. I'm gonna add it <laughs> for you guys. So here you can see all the candy I'm adding in. Just throwing that all over the place because here's what happened. These squirrels went out to collect acorns for winter and when they did that, what they found was Halloween. So they collected candy and they've got a wagon full. This little squirrel with the acorn, she doesn't know what to do. She's not sure about this whole thing. This one just wants to jump in. The other one's happy he found the king size bar. They're just all in and loving all this candy. So they're storing it up for winter and that's what's inside the little doors as well. So I'm stamping a sentiment on the front of the card that says Happy Halloween in plastic flamingo ink. And then on the next panel, I'll add a second sentiment that says, let's go nuts, because that's pretty much what's happening in this card. That really finishes up today's card. I am going to glue this down to a nine by eight inch card base that's scored at four inches. And then I will add some cute things to the inside of this card as well, which are a bunch of these die cut leaves from the Acorn House die set. Um, I think that this card could easily be redone into a fall theme. It could be redone into even a Christmas theme card. If you would like to see me do that, let me know in the comments below. Maybe it'll fit into this series. We shall see. Um, also, I did a recap video of my September stamp set of the month series and asked for you guys to throw out some challenges. What would you like to see me do with this set? I'm definitely going to be doing some Christmas. Um, it's just time to be working on Christmas cards and I'm inspired to do that. So watch for that in this series as well. And now it's time to do an envelope. I wanted to challenge myself to create a coordinating envelope for each of the cards I make in this series. So I'm gonna do that right here. I'm stamping all of the squirrels in this set. 
all of them. <clears throat> they are so cute. I love that there's so many squirrels in this set. It's probably my favorite thing about it. Um, I stamped that with clear pigment ink, and then I'm going to rub on the same pan pastels I used for my background over these squirrels, and you can see that the pan pastel collects on that clear ink, and it darkens so it stands out from the pastel in the background. It's so cool. All right, so once I have that <clears throat> pretty much on there, I am gonna go ahead and kind of blend out the pink towards the top, and here comes the fun part. When I shook up my citrus silk, the lid wasn't shut. But luckily I had a baby wipe by, but unluckily it was not wet. So I used my distress sprayer and cleaned up my hands and then I went and washed them with soap and tried again. But I'm gonna tell you, my fingers were scared after that, that I was gonna make a mess when I shook that up again. Uh, it seems to be the messy, none of my other ones are messy, but that orange one seems to be messy. Like it's on the lid. When I splattered it, it got on my hand again. Yeah, anyways. Those dark, big orange splatters took, I don't know, eight minutes to dry, and that was with the heat tool. <laughs> so I guess they were meant to be there, and I'm gonna leave them. I'm gonna go with this envelope. This is a business size envelope that I got at the Dollar Tree, and it works great for my slimline cards. I like to do nine by four slimline cards because I need all that real estate to make a card. I don't know why, but I tend to fill up every square inch of my cards. So that finishes up today's video. I hope that you have enjoyed this card. I had so much fun making it. It's still bright colors, but they're softer, and it's just a really fun take on Halloween to do non-traditional colors. So thank you to Laura and Mona for the inspiration from my Lawn Fawn fans, friends, and I will be back again very soon with episode two. So stay tuned and please leave a comment for a chance to win today's card. Thanks so much for stopping by. Happy stamping. Bye.